what's fascinating to me about the discussion about human rights is it happens at a very high level of generality. There's actually very a lot of theory, but very little, very few facts on the ground about how the decisions we make now actually affect the kind of rights and the things we're talking about. So one of the projects I'm involved in is to actually do controlled trials to understand how for example, internet connectivity affects the sustainable development goals. Many people here think connectivity is a value in its own sake. No one has an internet connection just to have one. It's the services you can get through them and the things you can accomplish for it that make it important. So what is the impact on important things that we recognize as development goals? Healthcare education, economic growth, uh, financial inclusion, gender empowerment, all these classic issues, we actually have no fact base to draw that connection. And without that, when I talk to people in the international finance community, they actually can't unleash the investment dollars we need to make those things a reality. They need to know not just what works, but in fact, what the marginal impact of investing an additional dollar in each of the technologies will be on the things we care about. What we need is to draw, not just have this general rights discourse, but to, to tie those rights discourses empirically to real-world policies so in a world of limited resources, people can know how to best promote them.